recently won a concession on some of the offshore fields here in Ghana. So the fact is uh, when SCP has been awarded last year the block to operate and to uh, see what could be the evaluation of this block, SCP has been inherited some uh, two old uh, vintages of seismic and uh, after a few uh, quality control of this seismic, it appears it was necessary to shoot a new seismic. Uh, this new seismic is uh, to fix any concern regarding the old one because the old ones are not covering the full block, so it is a merge. This actually represents um, a milestone in the history of the company and um, it will be um, one of the largest concessions ever given to an indigenous oil exploration company. It has taken us nine years to cross from the downstream all the way into the upstream. Springfield's ultimate goal was always to end up in the upstream sector, in, in operating of oil blocks, to be the first indigenous Ghanaian company to play a major role in the upstream sector. We've now reached here. We feel very, very blessed to be the first indigenous Ghanaian company to actually own an oil block, I would say pretty much 100%. It took us four years just to be able to you know, um, acquire this asset, or else usually take a lot of foreign companies about a year to do so. Sometimes we as Africans or as Ghanaians don't believe in ourselves. I.e. society will tell you that this is something that is for the foreign companies, or, so they wouldn't even give you an opportunity. So the challenge is just the mindset of the African man to believe that we are capable of doing everything that we put our mind to. So on the notion and the fact that the government of Ghana you know, gave Springfield a local indigenous company the opportunity to acquire this asset, this oil block, is, is a plus. We shall support you in each step on your way and become successful because your success is our success. This success will be naming an FPSO like this today, not in any part of the world, but in Ghana.